Okay, on a dual tank sprayer, you have two tanks. You got big numbers. You got a one and a two. When you come around to the front of the sprayer, you have your valve bank. These do not shut anything off. These are diverter valves. If it's on one, tank one for agitation, tank one for bypass, tank one for suction. It's all in the same direction. If you want to pull water from tank two, you can change that to tank two and then bypass and agitate into tank one. You can do anything with this valve bank. They don't shut anything off. They just divert flow. When you're coming over to the regulator, you'll notice right now it's in the off position. There's an off and an on. Whenever you turn the sprayer off and on, you want in the off position so you don't trap any pressure. Once you turn your engine on, then you can move this onto the on position. Now you're in pressure mode. That's going to put pressure to your pressure lines. You're going to use this knob to change the pressure. The more you screw it in, the more you get. You back it off, you get less. I'll put that back to bypass mode. Uh, this valve right here, this is your flush line. You can either pull from your secondary valve. You can drop this in a bucket of water, and you can flush the system out. And the other position is going to take it from the tanks into the pump. Um, this manifold right here is your discharge manifold. You'll see you have one mini ball valve. This is leading up into the hose reel swivel. If you want to shut the flow off to the hose reel, you can close the valve. You can open it back up. This line is your agitation line. That's what mixes in the tank. Right now it's closed. If you have that open during operation, you will lose flow and pressure back into the tank. And you can see it go into your diverter valve. So you can open up, open up agitation. When you open up the agitation, if you look inside the tank, you can see that little jet there. Uh, looks like a little spaceship. When the agitation valve is open, you can shoot back in the tank and mix your solution. You'll see the same fittings in each tank. So you got your suction fitting, your agitation, and then your full drain over there. We raise the tanks about three and a quarter inches. That way you can get an elbow underneath there. And these are banjo full drain fittings. So there's slits around all four sides so it'll fully drain the system. So you got your pump engine, you got your valve bank, you got your pressure lines, your three-ray suction. This is your filter. You take this off by hand to clean it out.